so um you know i guess you can't judge black ops 3 now but maybe in like a month people will judge it hopefully people stick to black ops 2 because i am positive 100 percent positive people do not want to have to wait another two to three years waiting for another call of duty I, i'm pretty sure people don't know what to do they're they're tired of black I, i'm not tired of black ops 2 honestly it, deep deep in down deep inside i'm not tired of black ops 2 i'll kind of like i'll play custom i'll play two custom games like i'll get on black ops 2 i'll be like yeah i'll be on here for about two hours play two custom games and a couple private public matches and i'm done man i go straight on a madden people don't want to play black ops 2 anymore okay they're already they're tired of it already okay they they played it when call of duty ghost and call of duty advanced warfare failed them they went to that as a backup it's like a side chick you know after a while you you want a new side chick right you know you know what i'm trying to say man but nah fuck that man black ops 2 is just it's it's done you're you, black ops 2 you were an amazing game i'm pretty sure one of the best call of duties that ever come out but but your time to shine was <laughs> three years ago man and you did it you made it work Vondi. you were success now in my opinion i've never played a game before with like a double jump or like the booster running like wall running and then I play, I was like, I was over at Raymond's house, my friend Raymond. And for the first time ever, I used wall running and double jumping and oh my god, I might die. But I used that for the very first time, you know. And I, I actually kind of liked it, okay. It was fun. But watching people on the screens watching, playing it, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want, I didn't really like it. You know, what I'll do, I don't buy a game as soon as it comes out. I don't buy it on release date, no. I watch it for about a month or two months. I watch everybody play it okay I watch I watch youtubers play it and I get I, I get an idea of the game you know see if people I don't want to waste my money I, I was an idiot okay I bought Call of Duty Ghost right away but I waited for Black Ops 2 but I bought Call of Duty Ghost right away and <laughs> as you know that was a mistake but I bought Call of Duty Ghost right away you know being the moron that I am wanting to buy it and uh, you know kind of failed me but you know but I usually wait for a game to to after about two months if it, everybody likes it and it's a good game it seems like a good game I will buy it you know I don't want to waste my money all those people that bought games right when they came out and then played it for five minutes and then left sucks for you you're wasting your money yeah so you so what you get to say hey yeah I got I got that game right when it came out nobody will care you know why because it was a sucky game okay so I wait till the game comes out. Wait until a two or a one or two months, okay? You don't have to buy it right away just to buy it right away, okay? Wait. So what? When I when I waited more than two months for Black Ops Two. The only reason I got Black Ops Two was because my dad broke my Black Ops One. You know, he flipped my Xbox. It was standing up straight and he flipped it to the side and it scratched the disc. The guy either said, like, I came in and like I saw Black Ops 2. It was already out for like four months, man. Four to five months. And he said, my dad's all like, you know what? You could either get you could either get Black Ops 1 again or Black Ops 2. And I was like, this is a hard decision to make. Black Ops 1, I absolutely dominate. I love that game. I'm not a high level. I'm like 24. I think I'm the 24th level. But I dominate on that game. Okay? So I made a decision. <laughs> And actually, my grandparents, this was a long time ago, after four or five months after it came out. This was in 2012. So my grandparents would buy me anything. That was three years ago, so I was like, what, nine? So, um, but I'm actually turning 13 in 27 days. So, you know, hit, hit, hit your boy up with a happy birthday. Yeah. Hit your boy up. Anyway, it, it, it wasn't even close to my birthday, okay? It, wasn't, it was not close to my birthday, but my parents, my grandparents would buy me anything. So, I went. I go over to my grand grandparents' house a lot. Still, I go over there, and I still this do this routine with my grandma. You know, I ha I, ha I hang out with my grandma and grandpa. I used to hang out with them all the time, and then, well, now I don't. I just be on my phone and talk to them rarely. Like I, I hate that about myself, but I just do it. I can't stay and talking to them. But anyway, what I would do was, I'd go over there. I'll watch like two or three movies with my grandma. I'll go like stay up to like midnight, 
eating ice cream with my grandma, with my with my Gma, eating ice cream with her. She's a beast. Okay, she's awesome. Eating ice cream with my grandma. And around 12, I go to bed. So we watch two or three movies, eat ice cream. It's great. Eat a popsicle. I, I, that's that's all great. And so I got Black Ops 2. A week later, not even a week later, maybe four or five days, I'm with my grandma. All right? She takes me to Toys R Us. I love Toys R Us. They have games at Toys R Us. A week, four or five days after I get Black Ops 2, I see Black Ops 1, and I'm like, yeah, I'm, get, I'm getting that. I already got Black Ops 2. So, you know, I'm getting that. I, I, I'm getting that. So, I basically got both games, and I was happy. So, <laughs> worked out for me pretty good, my friend. Worked out for me pretty good. Uh, but, yeah, I honestly kind of don't really know what to talk about that much. As you can see, guys, um, I'm getting overrated. Wait, no, that's not. Okay, but watch here. This is what most people do. Watch my ammo when they all come in. It goes down dramatically. This is what I do co to conserve ammo. Watch. I'm going to let them come on. See how I'm going to take a couple shots? Save so much ammo. Saves your life. You get that PhD. Not PhD. You get that perma perk, headshot perma perk, you killing them. Easy. Easy. I'm t I don't really need anything right now, man. I don't know what I don't know what I need. I I'll tell you what I need. I need someone to stop. Wait, I'm on round twenty five. Okay, this is crazy story. Crazy story. So it's about a year ago. No, no, not even a year ago. It is the beginning of 2015, okay? Beginning of 2015. Uh, you know, I found out this method. I just found out this method. Try it out. You know, it works pretty well. But uh, I try it out. And I get to around... I get to around, around 25, okay? No, 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 don't go there. I get to around 25. And then my mom says, let's go to dinner. I say... I can't go to dinner right now. I'm playing zombies. You know, you can't go to dinner. You can't you can't stop playing zombies for dinner. You know? Mom, no. I'm not going to dinner for 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 I'm playing zombies right now, mom. So my mom says pause the game. And I'm thinking, wait, my Xbox goes to a certain point and overheats. So I'm thinking we gotta get we gotta eat and get out of there as fast as we can, man. I'm like, Mom, can we get the bill? Can we get the bill? Um, can we can we get the bill? So we get the bill. We come home, and I, I I I'm expecting my Xbox to be burning hot, man. I see my Xbox off. Okay, I check to see if it overheated. Maybe got the red ring. No, it didn't. It it was the, it was a little bit warm. You know, nothing nothing horrible. It was a little warm, but nothing nothing too bad, man. And I'm thinking, what happened? What? Why? And my dad's home. I'm like, what's going on? And he's like, what? I said my Xbox is off. And he's like, oh yeah, you accidentally left it on. I turned it off for you. So the highest round at that time I, I I've been to was round 25, and it took me forever to get back to round 25. Okay, just think. I just sitting here playing Xbox. It was like seven at night. Imagine how far I could have gotten, man. And he stops me. Come on. Come on, Dad. Come on. You know, we chill, Dad. No. You, you gotta be turning off my Xbox and doing all that stuff to me, man. You ain't gotta do that, Dad. You ain't got no. I I I wasn't ready. No. But anyway, it, and my highest round on here solo was like 40. I, it's horrible. I, you know, made a dumb mistake. And after a while, this is a pretty, I'll be completely honest, after a while, playing like this, gets, gets, gets pretty boring. You kill yourself. You revive. You kill yourself again. After a while, not, I'm being honest. Ooh, yes, please. I don't know. But... After a while, you do get pretty bored of it, so yeah. Let me, oh, 445. All right, 
thought it was lighter than that. <sighs> I don't know how long it takes for your Xbox to overheat, but I think, I think it's like, I think it might be a couple days, but like, I hate, I hate leaving my Xbox on for more than an hour or two hours. I think that that bitch is going to overheat like hell. But I'm wrong. Every time I leave at home for more than two hours, I'm wrong. You know? My mom says, you've been on this way too long. Go outside and play. I'll leave it on. I don't want to. I'm going to turn on my game. I'm out there for 25 minutes. I'm, did it Did it get red ring yet? Did it get red ring? I'm pretty sure it got red ring. I'm going to go inside and just check. It's not. It is barely hot. Always es overestimate. Underestimate the power of the Xbox. But, yeah. I just really don't. That was back when nobody had the idea of the Xbox One, so I, I was going to have to buy an Xbox 360 again. I was going to have to again. The first time my parents bought it, but I didn't want to have to buy one for myself. Like, no, that was just a waste of money. That's just being stupid. That's not even, like, breaking or what. That's just being stupid. Okay? That's just being, I was being plain dumbass, okay, man? I was just put, I was being plain dumb. That's not it breaking out. I was just being dumb. So, yeah. My friend, my next door neighbors, Manny and Marcos, like, they could do anything. They could cuss in their house. They could, like, the biggest thing for me was riding your bike, scooter, skateboard without a helmet. My parents only made me do that. Now I don't even have to do that. You know, I'm getting older. But they all, they didn't have to, they didn't have to wear helmets. They, they could go anywhere they wanted. And they're, they're in high school now. I'm in seventh grade. I think they're, like, freshmen or something. But it's reasonable. They were a couple years older than me. That was, like, neighbors. Like, they were nice to me. But when I was in their house, they always used to push me around, make me do stuff. But when they were in my house in front of my mom, they were not the nicest kids around. And, uh, yeah. They, uh, they liked to tackle me as a kid. Uh, I was never the kid to, like, punch, kick, all that. But, uh, now, because of them, you know, I'm very physical at school. I get suspended a lot for that, I guess you could say. But, anyway, I just, I'm just kind of a bad kid in general I get in trouble a lot um I don't really know what to say but I just get in trouble um but yeah I just like to I I like to tackle basically is what I'm trying to say I like to bring people down to the ground it makes me feel good about myself no it doesn't I'm gonna rephrase that it doesn't make me feel good about myself it just makes me feel good period okay it makes me feel good period that's the end of the sentence Okay, so yeah, I'm just weird like that. I don't like to fight. I don't like to punch, kick anybody. I just like to bring them down to the ground. When I say bring them down to the ground, I don't mean get them knocked out. I just mean bring them down to the ground and they get it right back up. Like not hurt them. I hate hurting people. I push them on the ground or something. Get them on the grass or the concrete. Like I, hate, I will not put someone down on the concrete. I'll only the grass or a carpet or something. Or I love doing it on a bed, like jumping people on a bed like um tackling people on a bed that's that's the most fun shit you can do with your friends i'm just saying right now oh no oh no 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 saying it saying it let them go down let them go down okay but that but that's just so much fun i i don't want to hurt people no 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 i i ain't about that life i ain't about hurting people but like i just like tackling people and seeing them fall to the ground i i want to see them get back up fine no bruises no cuts no scratches no nothing just like they get down and they get right back up and they're fine. They start laughing about it. You know, we all have good times. Okay. I am known to punch a lot. Okay. Like not hard, but like punch them enough to to let them know I'm I'm the dominant one out of the friends group. Actually got in trouble a lot for that. And a lot of kids don't want to hang out with me anymore. But uh yeah. I'm always the kid at the sleepover, or when he has a friend over, not to be the demanding one. I'm always the one that gets demanded by, like, my friends, like, I guess you could say in a sentence, in a way that they, you know, take control of me or they use me. But, you know, while it's, while I'm in the moment, I don't really notice it. So, yeah, I guess, I guess they, I, I, I don't really know the term for it. I know there's a term. I'm trying to think of it right now. But they use me or, um... You're forcing them to do something? No, no, that's not the right thing either. I can't really think of it right now. But, uh, like, they invite me over to play Xbox, and I.
play with them for maybe four or five seconds. And then uh, I'm watching them play. And then they'll play a game where they heal or something. Or they never die. Or they're good, super good at it. My friend is super good at Assassin's Creed. So he never dies in it. So he just goes around fighting guards. And he looks like he's about to die. So I'm all happy. And then, you know, two seconds later, he fights off 57 guards. And he's fine. His health regenerates. He also likes to play Wolverine. Like, Wolverine's my favorite superhero. I showed him that game. And he likes to play it a lot. Where you can heal in that game, like, super fast. So he never dies in that game. So he's like, he'll, oh, okay, okay. When I, when, when, uh, when I die, you can play. His mom will come by and he'll give me the controller. So it's looking like I'm playing. It's just, you know, friends, right? But, uh, yeah. I, I've just gotten used to it. Anyway, uh, this is getting pretty boring, so I'm gonna switch this up, guys. And after I get this, here we go. Let me stay in this for like two seconds. Hold up. <laughs> 